Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Winter is coming. Today, it's as you can see, it's snowing. It's been snowing since early this morning. Thank God my snow machine, my snow melt system on my driveway is working really good so I don't have to do any shoveling. But um, yeah, it's a good day to try something new. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go in the little shop and we're gonna try out a new gadget on uh, the Vectrix software. This, this gadget is called Gear Maker. And let's, uh, let's go download the software and give it a try. Anyway, yeah, come on in, let's make something. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Today it's going to be all about the gear gear maker. Now you can go on Vectrix website and right here you can see I'm at the Vectric website and we're at V11 and we're going to download the gear maker gadget. And so you can just click right here and it'll download this this um, software to make gears. So now that I've got a download, let's go over to the Aspire software and let's see if we can't make some gears. I, I had this idea of making a toy where, um, like, when you have a little kid that's sitting in the, um, the high chair at the kitchen table, where you could set this thing in there and he could spin the gears. And um, I thought that might be interesting, a good Christmas present. Anyway, let's go over to the Aspire software, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. We're going to click right here. I've already got my wood in here. This is 5 and a half inches wide, 15 inches tall. So we're and it's three quarter inch thick. Now, now that we have our material in here, we're going to go up here to gadgets, and you can see right here I've got the gear maker installed. So let's click on that. And it, it's a little confusing in the beginning because even for myself, I don't really like the anchor point X Y. You don't I don't necessarily know until I start playing around with it. Now right here it says number of teeth. We're going to start out with, we're going to do a bigger one. So we'll do, and you want to have increments equal. So let's put 30, create the gear. So there's there you can see the gear right there. Let's close it, highlight that. Now I'm going to bring it up here in the center of the project. So there's the gear. Now what I want to do is I want to make a smaller gear. So I want to do multiple multiple pieces here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two different sizes, but four gears. So let's go back up to the gadgets, gear maker. Now we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do another big one. Let's close that, highlight that. And we're going to bring that right here. So the idea I had was that we would, in one of the gears, we'd put a little handle where the little kid could spin it, and then it would spin the other three. Okay, so now we've got our two big gears. Let's go back to Gadget, Gear Maker. Now you can see, originally, we had put number of T30. Now I want to make one half that size. So I'm, I'm going to leave all the other numbers the same and create gear. Now you can see it made a smaller one. And let's close that. Highlight that. Oops. Grab that. We're going to put that right in here. Okay, let's make one more of those. Gear maker. Number of teeth, 15. Create gear. And there's our, there's our, there's the one we want right there. So we'll highlight that, grab it, and we'll bring it up here. So the idea is that we're going to, we'll end up putting these gears together on another board with a little dowel in one of the gears. Actually, that's a good point. We need to, in one of the gears, we need to put a, 
a 3 8 hole for the dowel. So let's go up here and we'll hit 3 8 0.375. Let's see what that is, 0.375. I got my little cheat. So that's 3 8 diameter. Okay, that's exactly what we want. So let's create that. And then we're going to go ahead and exit out of there. We'll highlight that. And we're going to put it kind of out on the edge, like right there. That way I'll be able to put a dowel in there and the little kid can spin this around. Okay, so there's all, all four of our gears. I don't know why it has this outside line, but let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all these little outside lines. Because that, I don't know if that'll interfere or not. And one more down here. Okay, now we should be able to cut everything. We should be able to do a profile toolpath of all the gears. So let's hold the shift key down. We'll group all these together. Group. Now we're going to do the holes. That's going to be a pocketing toolpath. So we're going to highlight those separate. Let's exit out of there first. Highlight that one, that one. That one, that one, and that one. And we'll group those. Now we're going to go over to our toolpath and see how this works. So I guess we can go ahead and start with those holes, which is going to be a pocketing toolpath. Um, let's see. I want to be inside that line. So let's do. Let's do a profile to about that way. I can tell it I want to be on the inside. Um, we're going to edit the passes because we need to cut all the way through there. And I only like to cut a quarter inch at a time. So we'll go ahead and put OK there, three passes. We're not going to add tabs to this. Um, they're such small holes, it's not worth adding a tab. They'll probably just cut right out. Let's see, is that a good way to go? Um, let's close that. Let's let's do a pocketing toolpath and see how it works. We'll do three passes. We'll do 0.78. That's cutting all the way through. We're going to use that eighth inch bit. And we're going to put hole, we'll just write holes down here. And calculate. So there's the, there's the holes. Now let's go and cut the gears. Now I feel like on the gears we need to have tabs. So let's close that. We're going to do a profiling toolpath. Three, three passes. Okay. Um, outside the line on this one. We're going to add tabs. Um, might be hard to cut them out, but we'll, we'll go ahead and add tabs. Um, we're just going to add, yeah, let's add two tabs. Add tabs. So that's two on each wheel. And close. And we'll go ahead and put gears. And calculate. Yes, preview all, and then we can. So it has tabs in these holes for some reason. Why does it have tabs if it's a pocket? See how rough that is? That doesn't look right. The gears look right though. All right, let's reset preview, close. Let's take a look at this toolpath. Raster. Okay, that's why. We need to change this to an offset and watch what happens. Um, calculate. Calculate. Now if we look at this, actually we're going to take a look at both toolpaths, but let's go ahead and preview this one. Now you see, by changing that toolpath to a raster, 
it ended up cutting them a lot cleaner and smoother. Now let's reset that, close that. We're going to look at the gear one too. And outside the line, so that doesn't give you the option of a raster or not. So that's all good. I think we're, um, let's go back to preview, preview all. And we can erase this. Oh, we can't erase that because it's got tabs. Sometimes you can just click on the outside and just see the gear. But um, in this situation, there's our gears. And um, let's go over to the machine and we'll get this thing set up and cut this out and see if we can have some fun making something. Okay, I'll see you over at the machine. The first thing I do is clamp down my material using a T-Track and some Rockler T-Track clamps. I'll show you a picture of the clamps right here. I get it nice and secure. I have to leave that bottom corner one off temporarily until I do the homing and use the touch plate to XYZ it. Right there, I start the homing procedure. I then do the XYZ. That was the Z. Straight up is gonna be the Y. There's the Y, there's the X, and we're ready to roll. I'm using a bit from a MANA, 46176. It's a Spectra 8th inch downcut bit. And I'll show you a picture of it right here. Okay, this video of GearMaker is lessons learned. So basically the idea, everything works really good, but the problem is by using, by using an eighth inch bit and, and having so many, there's way too many teeth. I should have a lot less teeth than this, um, or gears, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool little gadget though. I think, you know, the, like I said, the lessons I learned was use a lot less teeth and, you know, keep the size the same, but less teeth 
and I think it would have turned out a lot better. This is just the prototype, so yeah, lessons learned. Be careful how many teeth you, you use, because um, it can be it can make it a little difficult. The eight the the eighth inch bit had trouble getting in and out of there, so next time next time I do one of these, yeah, I'll I'll make less teeth, so the openings are a little bigger, and I think it'll come out really nice. It'll, and then I think what I'm going to do is, um, I, this is just the prototype, obviously, but I think on the kids' toy, I'm going to get skateboard bearings and use bolts so that it's really nice and tight. And I think it'll turn out really good. Anyway, yeah, fun thing to learn. Um, gear, gear, gear maker from Vectric. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later. Get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have